ever played golf after a heart attack? This could be an interesting video. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Oh. But then you can't afford the appearance money for me for nine. <laughs> But at least when you were in hospital for all that time, you had YouTube and you had daily content that helped you raise your game, lower your handicap, and just enjoy your golf more, didn't you? Yeah, but I'm supposed to get bogeys, James. <laughs> Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, the title of today's video is quite severe, I'm well aware of that, but the video is actually going to be a little bit more relaxed. We're playing nine holes today with my dad, we're at Desert Springs Golf Club, and it is in wonderful condition. Now, my dad had a heart attack. When did you have your heart attack? Nine months ago. Nine months ago? And look at him bypass. now. Pardon? Triple bypass seven months ago. Yeah? And how are you feeling this fine day? Good. You've just got to be careful, don't start playing too early. You need three months between your operation and starting to swing a club, but then just gradually yeah. you'll get stronger and stronger. So for anyone out there who has had a triple bypass and a heart attack and two new knees, we haven't even hit a shot yet and there are some pearls of wisdom. Christopher, do you want to lead us away? Nice. Well done. I'll go off the same tees as you. Okay. So guys, as always, I want you to be a part of these videos and I want you to hit those comments below. In today's video, let's keep it relevant. Who here has a, or had a problem that stopped you playing golf? Now you are playing golf, or maybe you're not playing golf. Let me know why, and let me know what you plan to do about it. Yeah, good shot. Yeah. Out of trouble. And he's now a certified blue badge holder. Does that help? Yeah. I must admit, being here at, um, obviously, well, it's Desert Springs, they are very good, aren't they, with trying to get you playing and, and get you out on the golf course again. Yeah. So I don't know uh, where other, what other courses might be like, but definitely here they do try to push you to um, play whatever means, be it buggy, be it trolley, be it carry, be it anything. So it turns out as well that if you play golf and you've not had a heart attack, hmm, you're right in the fairway there. Yeah, I'm in the fairway. Do this stupid drop rule. Oh, that was a good one. That was good. Nice. Oh, what a player. What's that on for four? Yeah. Par putt. Would you say you've noticed anything in particular, obviously coming back and playing golf, strength-wise, or...? It takes a while to get your strength back, and to get your confidence that you're not going to hurt yourself. Yeah. What about technique? Has your technique changed at all? I don't think I swing quite as aggressively. Yeah. So Which you, is actually better for me. Yeah, so your distance isn't quite there. Yeah, no. No? But does that stop you enjoying it? Uh, no, I enjoy just as much. It's, uh... Oh, that's me just close to the flag, I think. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. You and Adam were going to be good golfers. I was always, good, always going to be an enthusiastic golfer. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing there is he said that Adam was going to be a good golfer and he was wrong.
So you can imagine that when all this was going off, it was quite a upsetting time for everyone. And when you start to get better, a few people said you'd never play golf again. What did you say yeah. to that? I said, just watch me. <laughs> Is it my honour? Into the wind, it's not downwind. Two clubs short here. Oh yeah, two club short. <laughs> Thanks for that. One of the things about starting playing golf again is don't be afraid to take enough club. Yeah. I mean I used to hit about a five iron on this hole. Yeah. And now hit a five wood because I haven't got the strength I had before. See, I think the big thing is that people can take is you're not trying to win the Masters, you're not no. trying to enter the Seniors Open, you're just trying to enjoy, enjoy yourself. golf, so which, take more club. I mean, in all honesty, I would tell you to do that 20 years before your heart attack, but if it takes that to realise it, then that's fine. <laughs> nice strike, needs to be bunker. Need some bunker practice. Yeah, I do as well. One thing I'd like to see you do actually is the home up on your short game. So I think if you've got, and I think this for most senior golfers as well, senior golfer, um, if you have a good short game and you get there or thereabouts, like there on the first, yeah, we've halved it. We only halved it because you three putted it. If you two put, yeah, win the hole. If I had somebody could give putting lessons, I could perhaps, uh, <laughs> get better. <laughs> right, I've been practicing my chipping all morning. I think it's well, is it? Oh, actually, not close, but yeah. a lot better than it has been. I knew you retired to Spain to go to the beach. <laughs> I was desperate to get that one in. I was really hoping it'd go in a bunker on this vlog so I could, could get that in. Oh, what a player. Go in! Oh! Yeah, good effort. You'll not be happy about that skid either. Let's open it in here. How do you want it leaving? Yeah, thank you. I'd have gone for that one, personally. You want to give me that one, then? I'll give you that. Can I have it out, please? Come on, your heart's fine now. You can get back over there and take that out. Need this, don't I? Downhill, you should have left the pin in. Not Bryson. Blocked that. Told you to leave the pin in. those of you tuned in late, welcome to Bogey Golf. But at least when you were in hospital for all that time, you had YouTube and you had daily content that helped you raise your game, lower your handicap and just enjoy your golf more, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I would like to thank everybody at Northern General. I wouldn't be here without them. They did yeah. a great job. Yeah. Thank you. What was the food like? All right. It was very good <laughs> after day seven. <laughs> all going in a tube for the first seven days. <laughs> Come on then, let's send one. Par five. Don't go sending it right, because the house is over there. Yeah. That's one of the good things is, when you don't hit the ball too far, you don't lose as many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot. Just middle stripe in the fairway, that one. But I'm supposed to get bogeys, James. <laughs> I never hit this fairway. So far. Stay there. Oh, he's hit it this time. Yeah. So guys, I think what we'll do, we'll play one more hole. It was going to be a nine hole vlog this. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, we're going to play one more hole. But then he can't afford the appearance money for me for nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly it.
Are they talking about putting new postcodes in, in Spain now? Postcodes? Yeah. Why would they change the postcodes, James? <laughs> Sounded really good. Right, par five. Let's eagle it and then we'll call the vlog level par. 235 yards to the front. 270 flag I've got here. Yeah. Like your yardage again. Yeah. That's why I'm short all the time. What, 5'7? Yeah. Oh, it's so good, it's just left. Sit! Sit! Well, I saw a few birds fly up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How good was that strike? Gotta say as well, it's February here, Desert Springs, Almanzora, near Almeria. Actually, I call it Almeria now because that's how Garcia pronounces it. Yeah, because yeah, we're Spanish. Yeah, because we're best mates now, and that. Yeah. <laughs> February. What is it today? Do you reckon it's 20? It's about 20, probably 22 degrees. 22 right? degrees, filming all morning. I've got trousers on though, which was a schoolboy error, but. When can I retire out here? When you earn enough money. Never. You need more subscribers. <laughs> yes! More subscribers so I can retire out here and film out here every day. That sounds alright, doesn't it? So if you're watching this and you've not subscribed, you're selfish. It didn't tell you got the news flash off. Is that your phone? BBC News has just come up as you hit that. <laughs> The beauty about playing at Desert Springs. Don't fancy that. Oh, just tell everyone what you've done with your one length irons as well. The four, five, six, and seven are all the same length. <laughs> and what about the rest? But the rest are standard golf club length because I just found it very difficult to chip with a long pitching wedge. Yeah, I must admit when I tested them, I thought I thought most. What are you playing off now? Twenty. Eighteen, but. Because this golf, this golf course is so hard, I get 21 shots. So playing off 18, so mid to high handicapper. And for me, when I tested the one length irons, I think I'd said, I mean, I took the, took the mic out of you a little bit, but I don't see how for average golfers, a longer pitching wedge 998 iron can really help you, but uh, Cobra are going to get in touch with me and fit me for them and then explain to me how I'm wrong, hopefully, so. Right, come on, up and down. For par. Oh, what a strike that is off the muck. You have to learn to play off the hard pan here. <laughs> I don't know, where am I? In the bunker. Tell you what, that's pin high as well. 270 yards, epic flash three wood. Can't really talk about being pin high that wide. Of course you can. Needed a foot more, didn't it? Yeah. Make a bogey from that. Who's he talking to? Just for par. Come on, then roll her in. Ah! What a way to finish! Oh, stop it. Heart attack, what heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> as pleased as I am for you. You need this for a half. <laughs> yeah. Get a shot here. I've got another downhill putt. Is every putt downhill here? See if you put them where you put them. Oh! <laughs> well done. I'll just take my sun hat off. Very good. Very pleased for you. Thank you. Right, so, there is life after a heart attack. I've just lost on camera to my dad, so if the channel disappears tomorrow, you'll know exactly why. Guys, that's been something a little bit more, I could say it's light-hearted, you could say it's, all I want you to take from this video, and it won't be for everyone, it might not even do many views, but 
if you have had a heart attack or you've had some kind of problem and it stopped you playing golf and you want to play golf, I'm not saying go against doctor's orders, but just uh, start steady, take your time, don't be afraid, par four, play it in three shots, Not try. don't try and hit it in two. Well it's like that par five there, without, the, the video is over, but that par five there, you've hit driver three wood, three wood, three wood, chipping a putt. Yeah, yeah. Because if you hit short shots to the green, you, that part of your game will get better. So therefore you can get yeah. pars. Also, that's short. a nice Wentworth shirt. Where'd you get that from? One of my sons bought it from me. I don't know <laughs> which one. It's going to be the other one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've been James Robinson. We're here at Desert Springs. That has been my dad, Chris. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you hit those comments below. Let me know what else you want to see. Put the thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.